Welcome to Ama Magna. And uh, we're on deck two, and we're going to show you a suite. This is suite 201, and it's right at the end of the corridor. Actually, you would think it would be noisy because it goes straight out here, but it isn't. And I'm going to knock on the door because I think Helen might be here. She might be. Hello, Hello. Helen. This is Helen. Come in. Welcome to Suite 201. 201, welcome. Hello, everyone. And uh, well, we've got this little inner lobby, haven't yes. we? Which is actually it's really quite unusual. fancy. You know, it's just like pull back here. And what it does is, if there's any noise at all coming from the corridor, it becomes absolutely silent. Once you when go, you go into through the main room. So there's some hangers here, so mm -hmm. you can hang coats and things up, mm -hmm. up there. Full length mirrored, obviously, to check yourself before you go out. And then check this yourself. houses the bathroom facility. So immediately you walk in on the right hand side, it's a little toilet. We personally think it's a great thing having a separate toilet, but if you're on the sort of slightly larger side, it, it's it quite is small. quite. It's quite small. And it has no hand basin in so, it, so... So if you've got long legs, your knees might have a bit of a economy flight problem. And I do keep <laughs> going to the bathroom to go to the toilet and then realise the <laughs> toilet isn't in the bathroom. It does keep it separate from the bathroom. And speaking of the bathroom, forgive my reflection, there's mirrors everywhere. This is the bathroom. The shower is amazing. It's um, a double-headed shower. And that's a rainfall one, and it is really good. This one's an adjustable shower, so it's got like pulse and it's got all sorts of settings. The marble top here extends into the shower. I'll show you. Which is really quite cool, isn't it? And there's a little tiny little seat for a tiny little bum. Well, I, that's where I put my <laughs> leg on to shave my legs when I want to shave my legs, so it's really useful. I, I don't shave my legs on holiday. I like to leave them. Oh, natural. And then you've got the countertop here, which is double sink. And the double sinks are really nice as well. And you've got these enormous drawers, which uh, again, swallow up all your stuff. So you don't need much out, to be honest. And that's what we really like. We like it that it's um, that there's not much out. You can keep all your stuff hidden away. One thing I'm quite intrigued about is this towel rail, which is vertical. Do we have any vertical towels, Helen? <laughs> I know. I don't know quite what that. Quite know what that does. But I do like the um, magnifying mirror. Good. Very good. It actually does magnifying quite well. And. Um, below that are two sockets. So there are two sockets. I've only just noticed those. It's really handy to dry my hair and with the big mirrors and everything, it's, yeah. it's really nice to get ready in the evenings. You can have two settings for lights on here, spots or mirror only, or both. The one thing I would say is there's no little night light, so you can't creep in here in the middle of the night without dazzling yourself. Uh -huh. So I generally bring the phone and just have a little tiny light. But it's very nice, it's very nicely appointed or tiled. If you linger in the shower, it doesn't steam it up. It doesn't steam up at all. No. It's very, very good at not transferring that heat onto other surfaces. So that's really good. Okay, so, so shall we go through to the main event? Double doors. So we have these Where double they doors here which lead through into our suite. The suite. And as you can immediately see, uh, it's, it's, it's the same size, it's like a mini suite on a cruise ship, which... It's enormous for a river it is. cruise it is. ship, yeah. It's fantastic. As soon as you walk in, on yeah. the right hand side here, is this control panel, which does all sorts of things. You can set some mood lighting, so we yeah. can have romance. Ooh. Or we get can you dark, but not only that, can you set those moods? You can also individually set all the different lighting all areas. Li it's amazing, actually. You can just bring down the light in the entrance hall mm -hmm. to nothing, and um, we can bring down the light over the sofa, which will go down to nothing. There you go. So they're all individually. That's a really clever thing. Really clever. It's got a little diagram there, so you can see all where the position of the spots are. Actually, let's, let me see. If I, if I put a sofa, does that turn them off? That's what we just did. Oh, no, no, no. On the, oh, on the, on the, on the little thing, does it turn it off? Yes, yes. it does. So you can actually so it see it. tells where. you which ones will go off. That's really clever. Yeah. And then you also have the same for the bathroom. So you oh, can so you turn, can turn before, if you wanted to go to the bathroom in the night, you can turn them Oh, on they're dimmable. I think I've answered ah. my question. I mean, you just noticed that. So you could put them on half light, couldn't you, before yeah. you go in? Yeah, that's a real, I'm going to try that. 
Yeah. I'll try that tomorrow. There we are. We're I'll try that tonight. Out. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then also your climate control, so you can set the temperature. And then at night, obviously, this lets out light if um, if you leave it on. So you just press standby. Yeah, and it, it turns goes off. Into... Fabulous. On the other side, you have the wardrobe space, which is enormous, and they are three full length with shelves for shoes and shelf above. Most of Amma Magna's itineraries are seven nights, so you've got more than enough room. More I mean, than it's just a colossal amount of room for a seven night trip. And in here, in this one, I mean, we're just using it for our coats, but there's a shoehorn and a couple of umbrellas yeah. as well, so that's yeah. lovely. And, and then, then more storage over here, yeah. three more cupboards. The first one houses the safe and the mini fridge. Yep. So soft drinks are included in this category of sweet. Mm -hmm. We've also got given a bottle of champagne, which yeah, is in yeah. there at the moment. Mm -hmm. But you can just ask to have whatever drinks you want in there. Small safe, unfortunately, it doesn't fit laptops in. Right. But mm. um, it's not big Never enough. Mind. Most people don't bring a laptop on holiday, no. to be honest. It's I think just you, you could probably get an iPad in there, couldn't you? Oh well, yeah, you can get yeah, your iPad in there. But nothing iPad. bigger than an iPad. And then there's a drink straw with your glasses and bottle mm -hmm. open there. And a spare robe there as well. We haven't unpacked that yet. And some blankets down the bottom. Next to it, again, shelf space. shelf space. I think they're all shelves in the, in the next two. In the next two. Yeah, so no, there's no hanging space, yeah. but that's great. Hair dryers in there. Unusually as well, they also provide a curling tong. This isn't mine, so yeah. um, that's provided as well, which really is quite good. unusual. So, and obviously laundry is included in this sweet category as well. So that's really nice. There's laundry bags in there. We put some out last night and it's mm. been, we got it back yeah, today. Got it back today. So, perfect. Nice. Yeah, and as Rich says, just more cupboard space in there. He's got all his stuff in there. Stuff. Stuff. Moving across to, uh, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Yes. We'll just have a look at the sofa because actually the sofa's really big and very comfortable. And we've got two I'd like a couple more cushions. Tables. I know there's some cushions on the bed that you that end up on the yeah, sofa. Yeah, we could could do with a couple of cushions, just couldn't it? A couple of smaller mm. scatter cushions would be yeah. nice. Yeah, but this is a nice big living area, really is. Yeah. And opposite that, you've got the table with, well, it's it's an iMac, and this is quite unique to Amma, I think, because we had it on Amma Christina, didn't we? Mm. A full size iMac, and that's got all the Amma Waterways sort of intranet on it. On, I know in the smaller categories of rooms on the Amers, like we did with Christina. Uh, there's no big TV, so you pay oh, the yeah, movies yeah. and everything through this, which is perfectly big enough. It's a 27 inch yeah. uh, iMac, but we've got a, a TV here because we're in a suite. So that uh, bit surplus to requirements, but I mean, it's a standard Amma thing. If you wanted to do some work, could you connect your laptop to it and use maybe, the monitor? Maybe yeah. you can use it as an external monitor. Which might be useful if you yeah. wanted, to, you know, if you were doing work or whatever. Yeah. Um, also, it'd be good to do the guest survey and things on. And I have to say, the AMA app has come on in leaps and bounds yes. since we went on Christina two years ago. Yes. It's very yes. good. You can book all your excursions. You can see your daily programs on really, there. Really, really good. And, and uh, then also here, obviously, you've got your quiet boxes, yes. so they're stored here. Which are standard. Yeah. River cruise. If you've never done a river cruise before, you get them because they are for your excursions. Yes. So we get water, bottled water, which is really nice. Every day, replenished. In our category room, we also get fruit, which we can have replenished That's with right. whatever type of fruit we want. Yeah. And there is an ice bucket. There is an ice machine at the bottom of the corridor. So in the bed area, beautifully large bed. And I love this surround. The surround on it is a wooden surround. It's a very nice feature design feature and it does remind me of the Ponant ships which are really mm. high end and of course all the spotlights in it are all uh, configurable as per the display. Got a beautiful big telly. And there's a there's a decent selection of movies on there actually. There is. There's a couple of live channels, news news channels and there's other information on there like your account and things like that so um, and cruise voyage information. Now along here you've got this beautiful long unit it's a wall unit. The actual top is quite sort of tactile, which is great because it's a bit, little bit of grip on that. So, you know, you've got stuff on it and it's not sliding around. And it's a really long one as well. But you've got all these super deep drawers. Deep drawers are really cool because they swallow up all your bits and pieces that you would otherwise have on the countertop. So you can keep the countertop nice and tidy. I know I've got some things charging there, but uh, yeah, it's a great place to charge. There's lots of room. 
five enormous drawers which are really useful. So much room. Each side of the bed there's an open cabinet. I like the low shelf how it extends underneath the bed. Yeah. It's really good because if you look this side you can see it sort of extends. It looks like it extends all the way under the bed and I like that because you've got a little low bit Yours as well. cleaner than mine, look. <laughs> <laughs> but there's plenty of charging points. You've got two USB sockets beside your bed, you've got a Euro socket and you've got all the kind of light switches as well, all on, all off, reading or bed. You've also got a little travel clock on your side. And it's just like a, a very modern, expensive ocean suite, but in a river suite. Very few river ships has the space to do this. Yeah. On such a large scale as our Magna, so no, it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful suite. It's it, not only is it long, like like a you might find on a cruise ship, but it's it's also very wide as mm. well, isn't it? So, yeah. and most unusually, we have a proper full balcony with a proper full balcony door. So, yeah. very much like a cruise ship, you can open that right wow. up, which is Look lovely when you lay in bed in the morning yeah. just to open it up. Look at the Danube stretching yeah. out ahead of us. This is the the lower Danube. We're on a sailing from Bucharest to Budapest and we are just approaching Vidin in Bulgaria. So we're going to get off this afternoon. But it's such a relaxing way to cruise. And the balcony has got some really nice functional furniture and it's, it's deep enough. You know, you're not going to bash your knees. We've been in some balconies where you sit on the chair and you have to sit at an angle. This one is deep. We've got a slight intrusion into our balcony. Yeah, I, I would call it a semi-sheltered balcony. <laughs> it would be an ocean thing. Because we're at the end, but everybody else is our uh, Yeah, oh. most of the others have got glass partitions all the yeah. way down. And there's lovely spotlights out here as well, so at night it's really nice. Yep. You can come out and turn the spotlights on. All configurable from the panel. Yeah, from the panel again. So what a beautiful balcony. And, you know my little pet love, it's the real teak floor. Yeah. In fact, there's loads of real teak flooring all over the ship. It's beautiful. Yeah. We love being on deck two as beautiful. well because you're so close to the water, aren't you? It's lovely. Yes. Whereas if you're on deck three, you're a little bit further from the water, whereas this is it's lovely. So there you have it. An Amma Waterways Amma Magna SA stroke SB suite. Now the categories are only different because SA and SB are on different floors. So this one's on deck two and the other category is exactly the same suites on deck three, which is slightly higher. Whether you like being closer to the waterline or closer to the sun deck, it's your choice. If you have any questions about the suite, anything we might have missed, we hope we haven't missed anything. I don't think we've missed anything, but if we have, please just ask us and we'll hopefully be able to answer for we you. We will attempt to answer your questions. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And please have a look at these next because there's plenty more about Amma Magna you'll want to see and this beautiful part of the Danube you'll also want to see because it's very exciting.